Facebook, YouTube. This uh, teaching is very important. Of the, this is one of the most important enemies of humanity, or more likely, I call this thing the number one enemy of humanity is iniquity. I'm going to talk about the reality of iniquity. And iniquity is one of the most, you know, I don't hear, well, I don't hear too much talk about teachings, but it's one of the most important things you must understand concerning sin and us, you know, being in a bad situation that we're in. Now, iniquity and sin is, you know, are together. Or more likely, think about iniquity and sin like an apple. And sin is the apple. But iniquity is the white, you know, substance that's inside of the apple. That nourish, that we, when we eat an apple, that nourish our body, you know, that supplies the nourishment. But iniquity, of course, is the opposite. It's not going to nourish you. It's going to more like poison you, you know. And what happens is, it's, it, it's when we sin, iniquity comes in our, start coming down uh, inside of us spiritually. And what is, a, it's like wax, you know what I'm saying? It's a slow residue that's like slowly goes down our body, you know, like a, kind of like a milkshake, you know, you know, it slowly goes down us, and the thing is, what we don't know, that it's entering inside our hearts, and it's hardening our hearts. You know, it sits in our hearts, and then it hardens our heart. Now, I know you know about, you know, Hebrews, you know, it talks about, you know, when you hear God's voice, harden not your heart. But the thing is, iniquity is that hard substance that hinders us from hearing God's voice. You know what I'm saying? God is God is always talking to us. God is always talking to us and telling us to do what's right. But if we got iniquity in our hearts, it's going to be tough for us to hear him. You know, and the thing is we don't realize that that iniquity is that is that spiritual substance that is described in Hebrews 12. Or is that weight? You know what I'm saying? That say lay aside every weight. Is iniquity is that weight? And what we don't know when we sin, and iniquity gets in our body, we increase with, you know, iniquity wax gets inside our hearts. And when that wax gets inside our hearts, that means that you know it, you know it hardens inside of there. Now the thing is, that's Iniquity is Satan's territory. And if more likely if the Lord can't the Lord our Father can't talk to us, can't communicate to us, the Father of lies, Satan, speaks to iniquity in our hearts. And we don't know that he's speaking to our the Father of lies, Satan speaking to our hearts to do wicked things. And the thing is, we don't you know, and we, you know, all of a sudden feel the initiative to do something negative. And we don't, we hear a, hear something that is motivating us to do negative things. And that's Satan, the father of lies, speaking to the iniquity in our hearts to motivate us to do some, somebody do negative, you know, to sin. And the thing is, that is a cycle that happens with inside us. And the more we sin... The more iniquity comes, you know, and the more the substance get start off small, but it gets more bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger in our hearts. And the more it gets bigger, the more we can't hear from God. And that's what's, you know, scary when we get more of the substance inside of us. Now, Matthew's Jesus says this prophecy in Matthew 24 and 12, because iniquity abounds. That means it, 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 you know, abounds, it accumulated within inside our hearts. 
the love of many shall wax cold. And the thing is, what's going on inside our hearts, you know, when iniquity is cold inside our hearts, we start, you know, you hear the expression, you know, when somebody do you wrong and do somebody wrong, they say, man, that's cold, you know? And the thing is, they're right, you know what I'm saying, about the, what's inside our hearts. You know, we do people wrong, and it's like the coldness of the, the, of the nickel, because of the iniquity in our hearts, we start mistreating people, and it's cold, you know, that how we continue the process of doing it, and we're not aware of what's going on in our hearts. That's why it's important for God to search our hearts. That's why you hear David consistently talking about searching my heart, Lord, see what's inside us, because we don't know what's inside our hearts. We don't know how much iniquity that we have accumulated inside our hearts concerning the sinful activity that we did in life. And the thing is, like I said, you know, what and what happens is iniquity shapens us like what David, King David said it shapes us like we feel you know we, like there's good shape we're in good shape or we're in bad shape you know like you know in exercising you know people you know you know work in their exercise and they don't perform to what they're capable of doing that means they're in bad shape they're not in a shape to accomplish things to where they want to do that. And the thing is, and the reason why we're not in shape to do the things that are righteous is because of iniquity. You know, it's shaping our hearts. And it's increasing in our hearts. And it's like occupying it so much that we don't even know that what's going on. And, the, and this cycle continues on as much we don't deal with it. Now, what we need to do is we need to, you know, the, the enemy of iniquity that we need to get inside our hearts is called understanding. And the thing is, under, read Matthew 13 and 15, talks about, you know, we have eyes, you know, we don't, can't see, we have ears, we can't hear, neither we, you know, understand in our hearts, but it talks about, you know, the cause of why we can't hear us hear a see is because we don't understand in our hearts the word of God. See, and that's why there's a difference between knowing the word of God and understanding the word of God. And we need to learn how to understand the word of God that it can counteract the iniquity that is inside our hearts. And what happens is when we understand the word of God, it will produce a light. It will produce a light that will produce a fire, you know. It will melt off the wax of the iniquity inside our hearts that we will have more room for light to dwell in it, you know. And, you know, it's so funny that, you know, that it says that, you know, Jesus said, I don't want you neither hot or cold, but if you're lukewarm, I spit you out. But the thing is, when you have a cold heart, you know, you rep that, that's what it represents, the iniquity. But when you have understanding, that represents the hot, you know. And the thing is, we're supposed to, of course, be on fire for God. That's why it's important to be excited about the word of God, you know what I'm saying, and be excited of receiving it because we're accumulating heat to melt off the wax that has the wax of iniquity that is, you know, is cold in our hearts, that we can become more a better Christian. And that's what is important to seek out understanding, you know, to do that. And important to get the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost fire will help really, you know, distinguish and de melt away that iniquity. You know, the Holy Ghost is very important to have in speaking in tongues. And the thing is, when we have that, we can counteract the enemy of humanity. And we will become better persons and shine forth the light of Christ, you know, that we're supposed to let our light shine, you know. 
and be the children of light that we can light the world that Jesus Christ desired us to do. All right, that's the message. To God be the glory, to him forever and ever, in Jesus' name, amen. Get rid of that iniquity.